Hi there, my name is Eli, and welcome back to my channel, Draculija. So I literally just did a video on this Decora Fashion Girls doll, Celestia. There she is sitting down, because when she's standing, she's just out of frame, and I wanted to capture her. But I went to Walmart today and found the mini dolls, which was quite the experience. Uh, they were not, like, on eye level. They were on the top shelf, where, like, overstock goes. But I actually first noticed the, like, sticker kit. Uh, pack that came with like the exclusive decor doll and it's like 20 bucks but I didn't want that so I was like okay well I don't want that maybe they have the mystery dolls and lo and behold they did just on the opposite aisle and uh, they had eight of them there I picked up three today they retail for about ten dollars each and they are a mystery doll so you can see some of the options right there we have who is it London cat buzzy blossom decor is on the front and then Heather, Sweetie, Celestia, and Luna. And then there are some pictures of the dolls, like IRL images. But confusingly, like it says there's 19 to collect. Maybe there's going to be more coming out. Maybe this is like a, a wave one type situation. I'm not too certain. Also, I was trying to find something on these boxes that would maybe like tell me which doll and which character I was going to get. Because I know like not an all surprise mini dolls have a little sticker, but I could not find anything. There is like a, there's the barcode right there with the UPC. And you can see right here, there is like a number sort of etched in there, but they were all the same. The only thing to note is that three of them had like a smaller number. And then the other five had like a bigger number. I don't know if that makes any difference. I got two with a smaller etch and then one with this like bigger etch. But other than that, I could not find anything on these boxes that would give me any sort of hint as to which character I was getting, which that's okay. This will be more fun this way. It'll be a true mystery. So let's see who I get. I think I want, looking at the back, it's kind of easier for me to see what they're going to look like. I like this mod one. What's her name? London is cool. Blossom is pretty. That's Blossom. I like the, the bee themed one. Uh, I, I think I'll be excited with any of them. So yeah, let's now crack into them and see who I get. Okay, let's start off with this one. I'm going to just cut the tape at the top right there. Okay, cool. They open up pretty easily. It says mystery box there. Maybe that will have a code. I'll check that later and see. And then they just slide out. Oh, there's a lot of things in this. Wow, that is a lot. Okay, I really didn't know what to expect with this. Maybe I should have read the box. Oh, that's a lot of things. Okay, okay, let's start. Okay, who is this? This one's cute, kind of a split die moment. I'm just gonna toss that. <laughs> okay, who is this? Heather, that's, that's so funny. They're all like very like fantasy names and then they're just, just Heather, no big deal. Okay, what does she look like? Okay, she's interesting. I can't tell what her theming is because that picture is so small, but right off the bat, I love her hair. It's like a split die with some buns. The side is different shades of blue. This says purple and pink. Oh, I like it. It's nylon, so it's pretty nice. No product in it. One benefit of dolls that are blind packaged, I've noticed, is that... Pulling this hair out. Oh my god, sorry. Is that they don't have any gel product in them because they don't need to have gel for, like, transit. A lot of the times, dolls have gel not for, like, styling, but so that their box hair doesn't get all messy. Okay, I'm going to use scissors here because I don't want to cut the stickers, but I think it's just... Oh, wait, never mind. I don't have to. There are uh, little hair tabs right there. Okay. Let's see what we get in here. We have some puff stickers with some flowers. They look like little hair clips. That's a lot of plastic. Maybe, hopefully, they switch over to paper. But they're brand new, so... You know, they're still green. They're figuring things out. And then this one has clothes. It is the dress. Kind of like flower-themed, right? It's kind of like a tulip. I don't know what that's meant to evoke it kind of reminds me of like dessert how easy is this to stick on her I'm gonna just stick her feet in there and then try and guide the arms in okay this hand's stuck at the thumb i did it i did it okay there is the dress I'm just going to lean her against this unopened one. Okay, let's see what else we got. Lots of mystery bags. This one has... Oh! 
I did not know this came with a doll stand. I am pleasantly surprised. Some more stickers. So this is decor dolls. If you're new and you don't know what decor fashion is, decor is like a subset of Japanese streetwear, like street style fashion, uh, like Harajuku style fashion. And it has an emphasis on lots of bold colors, eclectic styling, very maximalistic. So that's what these dolls are themed around. I think it's fun, but we'll see how far they can take that theming. Um, is this like a neck for the neck maybe? Okay, very helpful, very helpful. That alone, just the doll stands alone, already love these so much more than the big ones. I don't know how I feel about all these little packages. Maybe that'll get tiring after a while. Okay, it's like a little calculator purse. What is her theming? I can't tell. And then we have shoes. Okay, these are cute. Pink and purple with some stripes. Oh, and then one has flowers. Okay. Come on, Heather. I've noticed there's a lot of purple on all these designs. I'm a little purpled out already. Like, I get it. They're kind of colorful, but I don't know. It's a lot of purple. Okay, there she is with her shoes. Very cute. I wonder what else we have. We have two more. Some more stickers. And then the stickers you're meant to like put on the dolls or yourself. I think it's kind of like an either or situation, whatever floats your boat. And then the last little mystery pouch has a comb. Okay, the fashion dolls have a, a larger comb right here. And then I guess the mini dolls have a smaller comb. This one is kind of cuter, I think. It's not in focus. <laughs> Let me focus it. Come on. There we go. Okay, cool. But that that is everything that comes in these little blind packaged mini dolls. It is a lot of things. That was kind of quite the process just to open up one of them. And before I move on, I'm going to put a couple stickers on her just because that's kind of like the theming right there. You can see there's like tons of them there. I don't know how I feel about that because like the sticker but it seems like that's kind of the whole point of them, you know? So I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna embrace it, even though it's like not my favorite idea. Okay, well, that was kind of easy. And then there's uh, flowers and butterflies. I like the butterfly. Let's do butterfly over here. Cute. Okay, we have some leaves. We'll do a blue leaf leaf here cute okay actually this, was, this one's kind of more fun than that one i'll be honest it just seems easier and they're kind of sticking a little bit better we'll do one more we'll do a flower yellow and let's put it like on the bun or down below what's the vibe here hmm i'll put it right here <laughs> oh i lost that one okay it's okay it's still got it's still got some stick to it. That was, uh, I don't know what happened there. Okay. I'm really trying to press them in there. That is the idea behind these. And then these ones that aren't the puffy ones, I'm sure you can stick them on the face. Yeah, see the band-aids? We'll do one of the band-aids. Um, and I think they give you lots of extras because these are probably bound to fall off. And then you can just replace them when they do as you play with them or just over time as they fall okay and then let's do i like the orange let's bring out some orange we'll do like on the cheeks like blush okay and then we'll do green is that green like teal like yeah teal okay is that symmetrical mm. Kind of, no. Okay, there we go. There she is. That is the idea behind these. That was actually kind of fun. I think I like these a lot more than <laughs> the big ones. They're very nice. And for 10 bucks, that price point is pretty competitive, pretty good. Yeah, there is Miss Heather. Her theming is kind of like nature and flowers. I love her hair. Okay, let's see who else we got in there. Okay, let's do another one. I'm actually kind of having fun here. These are kind of cool. I like Heather. Heather, you're cool. 
And same process. And let's see who we got here. Ooh, I see yellow and I see purple. So I think we got the bumblebee, which I think they have like very similar dresses, which I don't care for, but I do love the color on that one. So, okay, we did. Okay, what is her name though? I don't know her name. Let me grab the box. That is Buzzy. Buzzy. That's a, yeah, that's pretty on the nose. Okay, there she is. Also bangs and buns. I see a theme here. Uh, it's kind of given Lakers. <laughs> There are some flyaways, you know, I'm okay with imperfect hair. They're still really cute. Oh, yeah, look at that. Very nice. I like her. Her bangs are really nice. Hey, Buzzy, I see you. Oh, I like her. Okay. And let's do Buzzy's fashions pretty quick. You know, same process. We'll just go through these at random, see what she looks like. Okay. Some stickers. We got... A ladybug and some bumblebees, of course. And I love the honeycomb hearts. And then some flowers. Very fun. Next one has... Oh, what is this? A backpack? That's huge. How does she... Does she hold it? Or does she actually wear it like a backpack? Um, I guess she actually wears it like a backpack. That's different. Okay. And then... This feels like the dress. We have her dress. Just the dress. Okay, here it is. It's the same exact style as Heather's, just painted differently, as you can see. I'm going to do this one real quick, and then, you know, time lapse it or just hop back in because that last one took me forever. So I'm going to put the dress on her, and we'll be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and put her dress on, and then I also slid on her backpack as you can see there it's a little tough to like work around the dress it's kind of bulky and big but it does work uh yeah it does work it's just a little strange okay there's buzzy let's get the rest of her stuff out i want the doll stand <laughs> so she doesn't have to lean against that anymore i think this is it okay we have some stickers the band-aid and some flowers. Oopsie, dropped the piece. Okay, let's get her doll stand ready. And the stand does say Decora Girls on it right there, as you can see, let's focus. Yeah, I love these little stands. I'm very happy that they did this for the mini dolls. Like the big one, I'm also happy, but for the minis, it's, I don't know, it's a little bit unexpected. The Nana Nas do have um, doll stands, but only on like the special backpack sets, um, not like the mystery blind boxes. Okay, it is really hard with the backpack on. Um, I don't want to break it. Oh yeah, that's about as good as we're going to get, I think. Okay. Mm, it's a little tough. That's, that's fine. Okay. Let's see what else we have. More stickers, I presume. It's you know, kind of like the theme here, you know, you just put stickers on the dolls. Okay, these ones are big bumblebees. You get three of them. And then, oh, the comb. Yep, the comb. Okay, cool, in purple. And let's put some stickers on. I just kind of like to freestyle it. You could copy how they did it there, um, but I'm going to freestyle and do like... Hmm, let's do it on this side this time. Okay. And then more puffy stickers. Let's do... Oh, I don't have her shoes open. I'm like starting the stickers and I'm like, she looks like she's missing something. The shoes. Okay. There they are. Pretty simple. Just like little boots. There they are. They're fine. There's like some weird inconsistent paint on this one right here, as you can see. But for the most part, I feel like the quality control on these is decent um they have good paint detail and i think the price point is still pretty fair like that okay let's do some more puffy stickers obviously the bee um she has like no blue except there's the blues here but i'm just gonna go for it and bring out the colors even though her outfit is just literally yellow and purple the one in the bun oh, i love the bees and then we'll do a ladybug. Let's do 
the orange one. Mm, right there. <laughs> okay, and then we'll do a honeycomb heart. I'll do this blue one. I want to bring out the blue tones because she doesn't have any blue tones. Mm, we'll put it like right there. Okay. I feel like it's empty here though. Let's do a flower. We'll do more blue. <laughs> okay, and then we'll give her some quick face stickers. This one here with the bee is cute. And the band-aid on the nose. I like her. I like Buzzy. I feel like these two are so similar. So I don't love that. Like, I feel like there's tons of different silhouettes and dresses. And then, of course, there's three that have this, this dress shape. Watch me get Celestia, the third one that has this dress shape. Like, that, that would happen to me. That just, it just would. Okay, let's do orange. I like the orange. These are cute. These are for, like, I, I think the cheeks. I think you can put them anywhere, but I'm putting them on the cheeks. And then on the other side, we will do... Hmm, I don't know. We'll do pink. We'll do pink. Okay. There is Buzzy with all of her stickers, fully adorned. What do we think? Do we like her? I like her. I feel like the yellow is different. Like, looking at the other ones, there's not a lot of yellow. So I think she's nice for that. Yeah, I like her. I like her. I don't know if I think I like her more than Heather, but I don't want to jump the gun and, you know, say that because maybe my opinions can change. I'm not too sure yet. But we have Heather and Buzzy. Let's see who we get for the last one. Okay. One more snip. I think I want, if I had to pick one, I kind of want her. What's her name? Luna. Or Decora. Is that Decora? Or who is that? That is the core, right? I can't tell. Well, I like that one too, the rainbow one. E. It's kind of giving rainbow. Does that look rainbow y? I think so. Okay, cool. We got the core. Wow. That's nice. I'm happy. There she is. She has this going on that the others did not. Like, this little plastic keeping her bangs down. And those are micro bangs. Those are small, short little bangs. <laughs> like these have bangs too, but they're not. Are they the same? I guess. Uh, okay, here is Decora. I'm happy I got her. Like she's kind of like the, the title, the titular character, you know? She does have some long pieces in her bangs that I'm like trying to trim and clean up and like fix just because it's me. Okay. Just fixing up the bangs a little bit. Don't mind. Don't mind me here. <laughs> these, these scissors are really dull, though. Okay, there is Decora. She's rainbow themed. Yeah, I like her. I like her. Let's. Uh, I don't even know where to perch her. Let's kind of just put her <laughs> right there while I get all her things. Okay, cool. This looks like the stand. Yes, that's good. We should do that first, so she is not leaning. And then we get some stickers for her. I'm dropping things. There we go. Set that down. I like these. I do like these. But now the conundrum is that I've already opened up some. Is like, if I want the others, <laughs> I don't want to get duplicates. That's the one thing about mysteries is I just don't want duplicates. But maybe there will become like a somewhere we can like trade these casually or easily, easily, you know, if you get doubles. There she is. Okay. Let's see what else we get. Ooh, her puff stickers are the cutest. Oh, yeah. These are the best ones. You get rainbows. Like a, I want to say shooting star, but it's like a shooting heart. Some more hearts and some stars. I like her colors. They're very pastel when she's like not pastel. She's very just like vivid and bold. And then we have her boots. An orange and a pink one. I'll put this on her shortly. We have, I know there's tear ships. I'm just ripping it at this point. 
should just use the tear strip. Yeah. Okay. These are cute. Oh yeah, that is really cute. I like that. It's like a heart-shaped bow. Here is her main outfit piece, it feels like. Okay, I like this dress. Yeah, that's cute. Okay, I'm gonna put that on real quick. Okay, well, I am struggling big time to get this dress on. And then as I was struggling, I was like, wait, I should show off the articulation. So we do not have any wrist, elbow, or knee articulation. And then the legs are very interesting. It is like one solid leg. Like they are connected. Are they connected? I can't tell. The legs are strange. They feel connected, right? Look at I'm moving this one and the other one's moving with it. You see that? They're they're weird. They're weird. The arms do not seem to be connected and they have like a full 360 rotation at the shoulder. Yeah. And then the head swivels. You can't really do like any head tilt. It's kind of more just like a swivel. So yeah, that is the articulation. And now I will continue struggling to put this dress on. <laughs> okay. The dress is on. It was a struggle, but we got there. We got there. And then what else? We have a comb, which like, do these even work? Yeah, I guess. I mean, this hair has no product in it. So like, you're really not doing much here. Like there's no knots, no product. Pretty nice nylon. But if you want to comb it out, go for it. And then this is probably like the little purse accessory. Yes. Hers is, um... I don't know what I don't know what this is. Just a, a is this a purse? Yeah, I'm gonna stick it on her. I go through the thumb, or at least I try, and get all the fingers through that little hole, and then ta-da! You can kind of just like carry it over the wrists. Okay, there is Decora. I like her. I like her. I like her dress. Her hair is pretty. It doesn't have a style. I do think these like buns are pretty fun, especially for like kids, you know, because. I'm not going to get the doll buns. I'm just going to keep it like flat and straight down. So she's cool. Her makeup is nice. Her eye colors are this nice bright green. I don't love the open mouth still. And they are different. This one has like a tongue. And this one has like teeth. Let me show you. So the mouth molds. They're not focusing. <laughs> the mouth molds are different. See that between Buzzy and Decora? Okay, I don't know. I didn't notice that. Do they all have different mouths? Yeah, teeth, open, teeth, teeth, open, 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 teeth, open. Okay, there was glare there, but yes, it still stands. Okay, I'm going to now adorn her with some of these stickers that she comes with. What do they recommend? Like, where does this go? It was kind of easier when, you know, they had like buns. You can kind of like move them side to side. How do they de decorate decora? literally everywhere okay we'll just do that and they even put them on the side of her hair a rainbow <laughs> it's hard all right okay rainbow let's do this little star guy there's like no space already <laughs> she's already like out of space okay And we will do a heart. Like I said, I'm just going to adorn her because I want to. Okay. I'll do some on the side. No, I don't want to do that. I'll do one more on the top. Let's do another heart. No, that's a heart. What is that a heart? We'll do another star. They got different faces. Look at this one's face is so cute. That one's like happy, winking. That's cute. Okay. She is decored out. And then we'll do the face ones. That is Buzzy. Where's Decora's? <laughs> oh, did they fall? No. Wait. That is definitely Buzzy's sticker sheet, right? I'm not tripping. Did they give me two Buzzies by mistake? They totally did. Well. I would have never known that if I didn't get <laughs> Buzzy earlier, but they didn't give me the right nose band-aid sticker sheet for Decora. Maybe I'll use some of Heather's instead and see if those ones are cuter. Yeah, we'll use these ones. <laughs> I think this face on like the smaller scale is a lot more manageable than on like this scale of doll. Look at their like little friends or buddies, but yeah, I like these ones a lot better. 
I think the price point is more fair. And I don't know. I, I wish they had some fabric elements to their clothes. They're all just like rubbery clothes. But I do, I do like them. And the mystery element is fun. I can see it getting tiring if you keep getting duplicates. I don't like that. But overall, I kind of like these. Okay, well, that is all of the Decora Girls dolls that I opened up today. I like the three that I got. I do think Heather and Buzzy are very similar, but that's okay. That is okay. There's a lot of other options. I think the other ones look really cute as well. I would have liked to get one with like the curly textured hair, but I like what I got here. I think this is interesting. I'm not really sure still how I feel about them. I like the minis more than I like the fashion dolls. I don't know. That proportion is a little, little wacky. But these are cute. These are cute. Uh, how tall are they next to a na, -na, -na surprise mini doll? Let's see. Mm, yeah, they're bigger. They're bigger than the na, -na, na surprise minis, but smaller than like pixlings or like tweens. So do what you will with that size information. I think the size is cute. I think they work a lot more at this size than the big ones. But I don't know. I'm still not entirely like obsessed with them like i like these three i don't think i'm gonna go out and try and get the other five anytime soon i'm kind of happy with like what i have here before me i'm sad that i didn't get the right sticker sheet for decora i checked on the box and like her sticker band-aid piece was like a really cute rainbow you see that i think that'd be really cute but it's okay it's flexible but that does lead me to my next point which is i think it's pretty cool that you can open these up and collect them and like swap stickers between all of the characters and reuse them like that is fun you can even use other stickers like ones that don't come in these dolls to dress them up i think like i know me as a kid would probably have a hard time putting a sticker on my doll like that kind of seems like a hard sell to me um because i feel like i'm not gonna play with these so hopefully these stickers just stay where they are like as kids they're gonna run around and fling these dolls and play with them and all of these things are gonna fall off right and then that would just irk me as a kid and it would irk me as an adult so that is just something that i think is very mm, strange but it's like the whole point because it's decor of fashion like this is without these stickers and this kind of like maximalist adornment it wouldn't be a decor of fashion doll right it's like i get it but it does get a little tiring after a while like having to put all of these things on they're cute though they're cute i like them the band-aids are really cute i think the mouth molds are interesting the teeth versus the no teeth i wish the fashion had more variety like i got two of the same dresses like what are you gonna do about it but overall i think for a first release pretty solid decor is my favorite i don't know i don't know i like buzzy too heather's heather's cute as well but i think decor is my favorite but let me know in the comments if you plan on picking any of these up. If not, totally cool. It um, doesn't affect me one way or the other. <laughs> I'm just curious to see what you guys think of these. I'm kind of mixed still. I thought maybe after getting the minis, I would be more like gung-ho with this brand. Because I think with Celestia, I was also kind of just like mixed and uncertain on how I felt. And I thought maybe getting the minis, I would feel more clarity. And I'm still not entirely sure where my opinions land. I think I have to like sleep on it and give these dolls some time to sort of simmer and then see how I feel. Like maybe in a week I'll be obsessed with them and I'll be gravitating towards them and picking them up. Maybe in a week I'll be like, I don't like these, you know? It does take some time to really formulate a clear and concise thought, but where my thoughts are right now here making this video, I'll give the mini dolls eight out of 10, eight out of 10. I like the Nana Nas more still though, but that's okay. <laughs> okay, well, that is all I have for you today. My name is Eli, and this is my channel, Jackie Elijah, and I will catch you in the next one. Okay, bye.